What's up, everybody? This is Eric B's Computer Solutions. So, I'm about to do something that I've never done before. Uh, I usually edit my videos using Adobe Premiere Pro or Camtasia, using After Effects, green screen effects, and stuff like that. Well, uh, the Galaxy Note 10, uh, along with Adobe, came out what's called Adobe Rush. And it's a, it's a nice software uh, to use if you want to edit videos. Now, for content creators, one of our biggest things is that we're looking for some good software to edit our videos. Well, let me go ahead and put it to the test. So I'm using Filmic Pro on the Galaxy Note 10, and I'm gonna shoot this entire video, and then I'm gonna edit on Adobe Rush to kind of get familiarized with it, because I might edit my videos on the go like that. So I'm gonna use Dex, and I'm gonna use Filmic Pro, and I'm going to use the Galaxy Note 10 Plus to film this video. And I'm going to give you some commentary on what I think the good, the bad, the ugly for editing on Adobe a Rush on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready. Woo, I'm out here at the park. Let's film some stuff and follow me on this journey. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm out here at the park, and uh, I want to kind of give you some commentary of as, as I'm filming this stuff and doing it on Adobe Rush. One of the biggest questions is, as small content creators, can you do this? Can you do this type of stuff uh, on the Galaxy Note? Because it is a, a device that can do almost everything, right? One of the kinds that I don't like about the Galaxy Note is the headphone jack. Now, if I want to do external mics, uh, I had to uh, put a dongle in. Now, Using the dongles is pretty complicated too because I have a, an assortment of dongles, USB dongles to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and un, uh, unfortunately it's not supported by the Galaxy Note. So it uh, looks like Samsung has a proprietary dongle that they're using. I, I've used a few of them and every one of the, that I'm using uh, is saying that uh, the USB is not supported. So uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna order me one from Samsung uh, and they should have put it in a box, but hey, that's here or there. But overall experience uh, using the Galaxy Note has been fantastic. Now, can the Galaxy Note be the win all be all if you want to uh, be a content creator and, and to film all your videos and stuff like that? I think it can. I mean, I really do. I really do think it can. And listen, by the way, I'm using the front-facing camera. Now, I'm an advocate of not using front-facing cameras on devices, but in conjunction with Filmic Pro, that's the key. Filmic Pro that I'm using here, yes, you can use a front-facing camera because you can always go in and post-edit in, probably not on Adobe, but uh, if you're using... Um, you know, any other kind of software like Adobe Premiere Pro uh, with After Effects and stuff like that, you could go in and change your color science. But uh, other than that, the front facing camera on the Galaxy Note looks pretty good from what I'm seeing right now. But hey, in the daytime, a lot of devices look good. But I want to kind of give you some commentary on me out here filming and I'm going to use Adobe Premiere Rush for the first time to edit this video. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Uh, but let's go on and continue with the rest of the video. All 
All right, so one of the things I want to show you guys real quick using Filmic Pro that you can do a lot of type of editing and stuff like that, right? So right now I'm using the, the Smooth Ford Gimbal along with Filmic Pro. And one of the things I want to show you guys is that, as you can see here, uh, one of the nice effects that you can do with Filmic Pro is lock your white balance and your ISO shutter speed. So you won't get those flickering and stuff like that. And that's what I did right here. So if I wanted to kind of move up a little bit here and move back, uh, which is fine using uh, Filmic Pro. But uh, another unique feature of using Filmic Pro is I like uh, the blur effect. So if I could go here and I could blur it out, which is perfect, and bring it back in focus, which is nice. This is a unique feature. I like this feature 100% uh, a lot uh, using Filmic Pro. This is one of the reasons why I use Filmic Pro is uh, because of stuff like this. Also, uh, since I like my shutter speed and uh, my white balance, once I go into a dark environment, you won't see any flickering uh, with white balance and stuff like that. So it's always a good thing. As you can see, uh, everything is being consistent. And that's the, the key to success here uh, as I'm walking because everything is consistent. And one of the reasons why I like filming Pro, Pro is because of the consistency and all the things you can do to uh, balance out your footage. Now, with One UI, taking away Pro mode, uh, using uh, stuff like Filmic Pro is almost a must. Uh, and so you won't get those flickering and white balance issues and stuff like that. And uh, this is one of the reasons why I like this type of stuff. Now, as you can see, um, right now it's total brightness and I can make my adjustments accordingly. And I'm gonna show you guys real quick, let y'all guys see that I can make my adjustments accordingly. Now look at the sky, just got a little bluer. And the reason why is because I'm actually making adjustments as I'm filming. So that is a very unique thing that I like uh, using Filmic Pro. Uh, and you can also adjust right there and lock my focus. So there it is. Using Filmic Pro is absolutely amazing. And I got full tutorials on my YouTube channel about Filmic Pro, so check it out. All right, guys, so I'm back in the studio and I wanna talk about some pros and cons of what you just saw. Now that entire video and this part of the video uh, is edit on the Galaxy Note 10 and uh, I'm using Dex right now. And I'm gonna talk about some pros and cons of using Dex. Now, I got Dex fired up right here and I wanna show you guys some stuff here real quick. Now, it's possible to completely edit this video or any videos using uh, Adobe Rush, right? Using Dex. But I'm finding that using the phone itself is a whole lot better than using Dex. Now, I, I ran into some issues trying to edit this video on Dex because it, it, the, the, the layout is not user friendly. But I'm gonna show you how I edit the video using the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, just the device by itself. I think editing videos is much cleaner, much better, and much faster using the phone, believe it or not, instead of a bigger canvas. Because using Dex, while it can be done, but I found myself having some issues uh, using Dex and trying to edit this video. So you got two major problems uh, with the Samsung devices with one UI is no headphone jack, no dongle that's not available. Even when I went to Best Buy, they don't have a Samsung dongle that's available. That's one disastrous thing. You cannot use internal mics, especially if you're outside filming. That's one complete disastrous thing and it may be a no-go for some people. The second thing is that, listen man, not having pro mode, that forces you to use other apps to film. And again, it, I use Filmic Pro, but Filmic Pro costs. And I don't I don't think that the average consumer, any filmmaker, anybody that spend a thousand dollars on the phone should have to spend 30, 35, 40 bucks, whatever on the app. Uh, but I use Filmic Pro and I just think that Samsung need to bring back video pro mode in the native camera app. All right, so enough of me yapping. Let me go on and pull out the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and I'm gonna show you guys how I edit portion of this video uh, using the S Pen. It's much better using the Galaxy Note with the S Pen. So let me go ahead and flip the camera around. All right, so let's talk about Adobe Rush for Samsung. Let me give you a quick tutorial on how to upload your content to Adobe Rush. First of all, when you open up the app, as you can see, when you open up the app, you have to uh, upload all your content. Relatively simple. You just hit the plus button. You want to add media. 
They want to create a new project. You want to add media right here. So basically what you want to do, you want to add your videos and every video that you have on your device, even if on um, Filmic Pro or anything, it's going to show up here. So basically what you want to do is you want to go ahead on and add your content. You can add as many as you want. So I'm going to add a few here, right? And then I'm going to create. All right. So what this does right here, it, it creates your timeline. Now, one of the things that I don't like is that I don't want everything on the timeline at one time. So basically what you got to do is click and hold and you're going to get something here and saying delete. Let's go to delete everything. And hopefully that uh, uh, Adobe will fix that because uh, when you're starting a new project, you have to delete everything off your timeline, right? Or you could put one item at a time. Now my timeline is clean. So basically I want to hit this at the bottom, right? To go to my photos and my videos. All right. And so this say if I want this right here on the timeline first, I just add it. Then I close out and boom, I have this on my timeline. All right. Now, now I could commence the editing. If I want to edit this part of the video, that's fine. I can add text right there. I'm adding a little subtitle. And uh, what you want to do is you want to click on it. All right. And just go to erase that word and add whatever you want. There it is. So uh, let's go back. And so I got my subtitle, however I want to do it. And I can edit this however I want to on my timeline. And if I need to move that, I just press and hold it and move it from side to side, wherever I want that part of the video. I'll ever want that part of the text. All right. So again, you got all kinds of different things you could do here, all kinds of functionality. Uh, you got uh, your editing tools here, which you could take out the sound uh, out of whatever timeline you want, or you could turn off the video part and just only have the sound. So you could do that too. All right. So uh, also you can lock each timeline if you don't want any editing done or you don't want nothing mess with a timeline, you can lock it. All right. And uh, so, yes, there it is. Real quick tutorial. And even if you want to speed up the track or if you want to add color grading, uh, if you want to do anything here to the track, you could do that in Adobe Rush, which is nice. I mean, you could do all kinds of stuff. Now, it doesn't have chroma key, which I don't see chroma key at this present time. Hopefully they add chroma key to this. If they do, then you could do green screen effects. But as of right now, uh, you can only do minimal stuff, but it's powerful, really, really powerful. And then once you finish with all your editing, you click at the top here and you could do your quality and exporting and you export it and you could do it directly to YouTube, uh, Facebook and stuff like that. So which is great. I thought in the beginning that it was going to be very difficult to record this video on Adobe Rush, but no, it was actually simple to do putting the uh, videos on the timeline along with music here using Adobe Rush. The S Pen is very good and it's very precise when using it. And I can tell you, using the S Pen and, and, and Adobe Rush, this was a pleasant experience to use. Uh, so basically what I did was everything that I had in Filmic Pro, I just uploaded to the suite. And if you know how to edit, it's really simple. Just click one video at a time to put it on the timeline. And once I got it on the timeline, I just basically just kept everything on the timeline and boom, there it is, right? What's up, everybody? This is Eric. And I just so, add some I other stuff, some, some tiles, some text, some transitions and stuff like that. That was pretty easy. I mean, this was really simple. And all the music, I just downloaded my music here and I have every clip here, here on the timeline. And I just went from, you know, clip to clip to clip right here. And it was relatively simple. So can you use your Galaxy Note 10 to film and edit an entire video? Yes, you can, but you got to use different software when you come down to using your camera. You cannot use stock camera app uh, with this device. I mean, I mean, look, the white balance goes off. I mean, everything is off when you're trying to film in, in the daytime and, it, and stuff like that. Also, not having a headphone jack, oh, man. Having all that wind noise is definitely a no-go for some people. Uh, but overall, yes, use your dongle 
get external mic, use Filmic Pro, and bam, you're going to get a premium, high-quality video. And that's what I'm talking about. And it was no stuttering and no lag. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about Adobe Rush by Samsung in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace. This was a nice experience. I mean, beautiful experience. I mean, I, 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 I'm blown away on how I was sitting at the coffee house or I come to the studio and I could edit an entire video that I shot on my Galaxy Note. The bad part about it is no headphone jack and one UI freaking suck by taking away promo. See you guys on the next video. Peace.